Okay, today we are putting on a Stream American headgear wrap on the opposite side, right side of this headgear. It's an older Brute Classic. Pretty much just start off by making sure the surface of the headgear is clean. The Brute Classic's almost like a Cliff Keen. Foam's a little bit smaller. Their pattern matches up almost identical, though. Make sure the whole, uh, the whole, it's all cleaned up. We cleaned it before we even started the video. This is an older one. As you can see, it's been pretty much put through hell. It's been uh, probably wrapped four or five times. It's a little beat up, but uh, we're going to stick a new newer skin on it pretty much that the uh, customer was looking for it, a little change. I'm going to start off, take your skin off. And when you do clean it, clean it with like just a, a drop of um, hand soap. Put a hand soap, put some hand soap in a, uh, a nice warm water bottle, spray bottle, clean it off, wipe it clean, make sure it's thoroughly dry. We're going to do this dry. We don't do really any of our installs wet because it takes the process takes a little longer pretty much to allow the evaporation and the uh, water to dry underneath the adhesive. All our vinyl is the same vinyl we do vehicle wraps for advertisements with. So what we're going to do is pretty much start off eyeballing it exactly where the shape Is gonna sit once you think you, you have it have the center sit down on the cone you can actually move it while it's sticking you just don't want it to permanently stick yet and what you're gonna do is thumb it once you start thumbing your image start pushing where you want the vinyl to sit with your thumbs Once you set your first final down on the top, bottom, wherever you feel comfortable with, you're going to have to have yourself a, either a heat gun or a hair dryer to start working the vinyl just because you can actually stretch this vinyl, push it where you, at, where you want to, stretch it where you want to, and thumbing it out, getting out all the imperfections. The heat gun also will allow the vinyl to tighten up again where you stretched it. And if it's not in the right place, you can just pull it up and stretch it again. Any imperfections? Don't try to rush it either. Just try to get it exactly where you want it. You start trying to rush it, you're going to permanently set it, and when you try to pull it up, you're going to pull off the gloss on the headgear itself. So just make sure you get it exactly where you want to.
If you notice that you stretch the vinyl too much, pull it up, stick your fingers under it, and let the vinyl go back to its original shape. The heat gun's going to allow it to go back to almost its original shape before you stretched it. Once you have it nice and smooth on there, start heat gunning the edges. Make sure all your edges are tight to the headgear. That's where you'll notice the edges down the line after it's been worn and used. You start pulling up a little. Whenever it does that, same exact action. Take your heat gun or hair dryer. Hit whatever's coming up and thumb it back down. Just one thing is don't aim your heat gun too long at the graphic itself or what you're going to do is burn it. You'll burn the graphic and the headgear. And that's it. One thing we don't do is we no longer cut the vent holes in with the machine. A lot of the headgear is great headgear, but it's foam. So inaccuracy when the presses are cutting the foam shift a little bit. And you'll be looking at the headgear when you're trying to pretty much put the vent holes up. And if they're a little off, then your sides, the headgear will be off. So we do allow you to do that yourself if you want to cut one or two head pretty much holes in it. We just uh, get an X-Acto knife, pop a hole in it. Don't cut through the foam, though. Cut through the holes. You'll actually see the indentations of the holes. Cut small through them. Work your way around in a complete circle. Then heat gun them and press them where you want to. And that is pretty much it. That's for the dry method install on your headgear. Thanks for watching.